Welcome everyone, broadcasting live from Footscray City College, you're listening to Footscray Live. My name is Arthur Johns and with me on my panel today I have Stanley and Hannah. Hello. This is the English Language Show and our special guests today are Sahara, Sam, Tony and Brian, a teacher and students at Footscray City College. Hi guys. Hi. 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 Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you Um, for having us. Yeah. Well, first thing we'll ask, we'll go around, uh, how did you guys find yourselves a part of Footscray City College's uh, English Language uh, program? Mm. Yeah. So Mm. we'll start with uh, Tony. Uh, I think the language in the school is very simple and very not very hard to study. And I, I think the, everyone in here is very friendly and very cute. Sahar? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I started at Footscray City College two years ago now. Mm-hmm. And when I first applied for my job, it was actually only a Japanese teaching job. And it was only when a, another teacher um, couldn't actually end up remaining at the school that I volunteered to teach in the English Language Centre, as I've also been um, teaching EAL for a few years. Um, not only just in Melbourne, but also in Vietnam. And I thought it would be a really wonderful, unique experience um, to be able to encourage students who were newly arriving in Melbourne at the English Language Centre. Mm-hmm. It's a bit different to how we teach EAL in the mainstream as well. Yeah, I feel very comfortable when learn here, especially with the friend around me. Yeah, and... I feel very enjoy when I learn at the Fusri City College or Fusri High School. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for me, it's a completely new experience uh, learning in Australia and at Fusri City College. Um, the learning environment is uh, really friendly. I really like studying here, and um, it's a completely new thing to me. And I'm currently still studying to be better. Mm. Well, uh, Sam, you just mentioned that you'd be, um, it's a different learning experience to some of your past learning experiences. Would you like to go into some more detail on how it is different, the similarities and differences to some of your previous learning experiences? Well, for example, um, first of all, is the timeline of you going to school every day. Mm-hmm. Uh, we started in uh, Vietnam. Uh, in Vietnam, we started school much earlier than in Australia. We started classes at about 7 a.m. Wow. And, yeah, and we ended at about 5 p.m. Oh, wow. Wowzers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the, uh, the other difference is, is that uh, by starting earlier, we have uh, more subjects to study. Yeah. Sahara, yeah. what will teaching... Um, English and um, the English language um, part, what will it look like, do you think, in 10 years at Footscray High School now? Wow, that's a really great question. In 10 years, I really hope that we can establish not just one English language centre, but a few. So ideally, I would love to have one English language centre per campus. So if we've got the three, we'd really love to have a more kind of differentiated curriculum so that we can have more classes that are based around not only students' English levels, but also around their ages as well. Yeah. That's something that I worry about sometimes with the English Language Centre is that sometimes we're not interacting much with people from our own age group. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so, for example, if we've only got one year seven in the English Language Centre and the rest are all mainly years nine and ten, um, it I'm concerned that you know, sometimes we might not have enough interaction with some of the students from the mainstream. So I'm really hoping that not only can we establish um, an English language centre curriculum that's kind of more tailored to ages as well, but also interact more with the mainstream school and also with the community more. For the students, what has been the most challenging part of um, learning here at Footscray City College? That could be a variety of things. Uh, How about we start with Tony? Uh, I think the most difficult when I started here, that's my language um, and my speaking. I'm not speaking not very much. My grammar and vocabulary is not very, uh, it's very, not very few, not few enough to uh, learn. But uh, with Sarah, I can learn a lot in here. And um, <clears throat> I can uh, learn a lot with my friends. They teach me a yeah. lot of, mm. and I think that's a perfect school I have. We have to learn. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Brian? Yeah, maybe the challenge, the most challenge is uh, like everything is different from Vietnam to here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I'm very happy because I have my friend here to help me to improve everything. 
and especially is a teacher. Yeah, yeah, they are very good. And mm. um, what about you, Sam? And uh, for me, the most difficult thing is uh, trying to make uh, new friends and new relationships. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so when I get here, well, I thought that uh, it would be hard to making friends. Well, I actually got some friends right now, mm. which is uh, Vietnamese. But I uh, hopefully that I will can make more friends, which who is Australian and can be agricultural. Mm. And uh, Sahara, uh, going off of that question, uh, from a teaching sense, what would be the most challenging thing about uh, teaching students in this program? Not necessarily the students themselves, but the um, the environment, even. Yeah. So at the moment, um, particularly the the biggest challenge as a teacher is having a whole group of students from all different ages and different levels of English mm -hmm. and different also past learning experiences as well, even travel experiences, life experiences in the one class. And it's so difficult for all teachers to kind of differentiate enough so that we're effectively helping every single student in our class. Um, and it's really particularly different when we've got students who have had a lot of English experience before, but also um, who are quite new to Australia, or maybe they've got heaps of English knowledge, but they're just a bit nervous nervous as soon as they arrive. Yeah, well, um, Sarah, you've mentioned that uh, some of your students will have uh, great English skills and then some not as fantastic as others, and that happens in all subjects. Absolutely. Um, how do you manage uh, getting everybody to that same sort of plane and that same level? Because um, it'd be very difficult, uh, for example, having a year seven and a year 10 at different levels. Uh, how does that all work without obviously trying to be condescending as well? Absolutely. <coughs> it's really tough at times. And I guess my biggest thing is trying to ensure that we're creating curriculum that can be changed for each student and where we're looking at the kind of overarching skills that we're trying to teach rather than um, the actual outcome itself. So it doesn't matter, for example, if we're writing an essay or a letter or a card or anything else, as long as we're kind of actually achieving the target goals. Mm -hmm. um, in that sense, I'm not looking at getting everyone at the same place and mm -hmm. I'm sure most teachers are the same. We want to see improvement in all of our students mm -hmm. no matter where they start and finish and that's kind of my main goal in the English Language Centre and I'm sure all the other teachers there would be the same. Yeah. Uh, Stanley here. What's the most rewarding part of teaching? Oh, that's such a great question. There are so many things that are really rewarding. I guess for me, especially in the English Language Centre, seeing not only the English developing in all of our students, but the confidence in particular. So usually, not so much with this group of students at the moment, but with some of my previous students, on the first day, there's usually so many nerves and it's, you know, a real concern even sometimes for some students to even just ask where the bathroom is or to find out who their teachers are, things like that. So it's been really amazing to see all the students come out of their shells, so to speak, and just really engage with all the different things that Footscray City College has to offer, seeing them participate in all the athletics carnivals, swimming carnivals, make new friends from other year levels, meet new people, learn different other languages that we've got going in the English Language Centre as well, because all the students have different language and cultural backgrounds. It's really been really, really wonderful to see that. Yeah. And um, with the whole rewarding, what about you guys? Do you feel the same as in has, has your confidence, do you believe, grown in a sense of speaking to people and in the whole idea of our English language program? Oh, we'll start with Tony. Uh, I think the program does uh, give me that's very uh, interesting. Uh, I, when, when I... Uh, when I in the Vietnam, I don't think it's very hot. I think study is very hot. <laughs> it's very uh, not. I don't have any patience to study here. Yeah. But when I meet Sarah and another teacher in here, I think they give me a lot of inspiration. Oh, yeah. So would you, you. <laughs> so would you feel like um that you feel better? Would yes. you say you feel better about um the whole idea of in English language? Yes. Uh my. <clears throat> uh hmm. Uh, it's alright. Yes, no. Uh, t I think it's yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good. Well, what, what about? You? It's alright. We all get stuck. Um, what about you, Brian? Uh, how do you feel? Do you feel that your confidence may have grown a bit? Yeah, um, from I'm the feel very confident because uh, the way that they teach us hmm. is very smart, and it makes us feel more comfortable, and uh, the way that we learn is more easier. Hmm. Uh, 
you just mentioned um, the way they teach. What are some of these? Ex- could you give some examples of some ways they teach that help you um, grow your confidence? Like what we uh, don't know about it, they will uh, they own way explain very very clear. Mm. And yeah, they will have they own way help us in uh, each 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 uh, section. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the way that we prove is very good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and what about you, Sam? Do you feel your confidence has grown uh, over time because of the AIL program? Um, yes, I think that my confidence uh, boost has been gaining a lot since uh, day one. Well, I remember day one going here. Um, I'm so nervous. I couldn't mm. even ask which way, which way to the library. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so the teachers like Sahara, um, uh, Mr. Paul Dooley, well, they have mm-hmm. helped me a lot. Yeah. yeah. Um, so for the students, what is your favorite subject and how is it compared to th- that subject? How is it compared to back home? Mm. I, I like math because he's doing you no know, plan. Uh, I love his teacher because he teaches me. Uh, his lesson is very funny. Mm. Uh, he always give me a lot of expression, uh, give me a lot of game to make the study more funny. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> um, he give me a lot of uh, knowledge to uh, stay here and give me a lot of information to uh, how to survive in Australia. Yes. <laughs> um, Brian? Uh, so the most subject I like is uh, EOA. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I like uh, Rachel mm-hmm. because uh, she... W- each uh, lesson she teach very interesting yeah, yeah. and funny. We have a lot of practice uh, book and the way that we do. We also play Kahoot about uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> Sam? Um, so uh, personally, my favorite teacher is uh, Sahara here. Well, um, she's been helping me since day one, like I said. And um, everything that she teaches, I really understanding. And yeah, um, uh, yeah I really enjoy studying with her. Oh, yeah. thanks, Sam. <laughs> Uh, Sam, what is it about uh, Sahara's teaching methods that you really enjoy? Well, the way that uh, Sahara teaches, uh, I think it's pretty inspirational Mm -hmm. because uh, she has a really clear voice and uh, she usually gives out um, some real life uh, situations that you can act with and um, you can uh, do that to understand what you're learning. Thank you. Uh, Sahara, um, you, you must be feeling pretty flattered at the moment. Yeah, that's so lovely. Yeah. It's so yeah. nice to hear. Yeah. Well, um, it must feel great that you're um, well, changing these people's lives as a teacher, as many do. Um, if you had to, if there were uh, parents considering take, bringing their students to Footscray City College, uh, what would you say is something that you'd want to tell them about our English language program? Yeah, that's a great question. So at the moment, we are looking at recruiting new students um, going into Footscray High School. We've currently only got two students that are on the waiting list, and we would really love to have heaps more going into Footscray High School's English Language Centre. We've got an amazing array of really supportive teachers, as you've just heard. And the English Language Centre program is different from what a lot of other schools and private language centres offer in the sense that not only do we teach intensive English that focuses on the forms of English, so really being particular about vocabulary, grammar, sentence structure, things like that, but we're also teaching Uh, more sort of broader mainstream English skills that will be really important for once the students do um, join their regular year level and then they take EAL at that year level. Um, So teaching really important key skills like essay writing, oral presentations, things like that. Then we also have an array of different subjects um, that are catered to uh, learners of other languages. So we have at the moment math, science, art and um, humanities as well. Um, and then going forward, we're also hoping to add some additional subjects as well. So please stay tuned. And if you're interested, please feel free to contact me. Um, I would love to hear from you. Awesome. Well, uh, thanks. That brings our show to an end. Um, thank you for joining us, Sahara, Sam, Tony and Brian. It's been a pleasure to have you on the show. Um, that was Sahara, Sam, Tony and Brian, teacher and students at Footscray City College. My name is Isaac Johns and I'd like to thank my panel today consisting of Stanley and Hannah. This has been the English Language Show on Footscray Live. <laughs>